Hello friends and welcome. Welcome to another review of an affordable school fountain pen. This is a German fountain pen. And we are talking about a Schneider. So guys, recently on my channel, I had a comment of a viewer and he asked me to review the Schneider basic fountain pen. I'm not so sure that this is the basic, but the, the translation of the Romanian distributor, distributor is Schneider Fountain Pen C C E O D basic. I hope that the viewer was referring to this type of fountain pen. You can see it comes quite in a simple package and uh, it should have an interesting, interesting review. So guys, you know, the school has just started. I'm located with my channel in Romania, so in Eastern Europe. And in my country, we have quite, quite an easy access to fountain pens and in general writing instruments made in Germany. And uh, this is the case here. This is an, aff an affordable school fountain pen. It uh, was bought from a local retailer, a uh, German retailer called Kaufland. And in Kaufland, I found it in a sale or a promotion. It was sold half of its original price. And I paid for it only 10.49 lays which means I paid approximately 2.12 euros or 2.48 American dollars. So this is quite an affordable school fountain pen or a student fountain pen. Let me show you the back of it. And on this pack, we have written in English, quality made in Germany. We guarantee outstanding product quality and compliance with the demanding ecological and social standards in Germany. We are certified by the world most exacting environmental management system, EMAS. And in Romanian, we have Schneider CO Classic Basic. It is a uh, elegant fountain pen with a uh, design defined by forms and use of classic materials. The body is available in white or black and the writing will be quite smooth and clean. It has a nib made out of stainless steel it has a clip made out of metal and it is compatible with standard ink cartridges okay guys without further delay let me open this product you can see that by opening it we damage the piece of paper with the information of the Romanian distributor. By the way, I don't, didn't, yes, let me sh tell you the Romanian distributor. It is named Scribant Distribution Serele, and it is located right in my hometown, Brasov. Interesting. We have a phone number and a website. I will definitely check it out. On uh, the back we have also we care and the web address schneiderpen.com we care and another interesting the address of the producer so Schneider locating in Schramberg Germany schneiderpen.com okay let me put the pack here and this is the nice nice looking fountain pen just by feeling it by hand it has that 
nice feeling, not of a cheap plastic, but a well smooth and quite heavy material. I think it's rather nice. On the barrel, we can see thermically imprinted Schneider and a logo. On the other side, we have thermically imprinted made in Germany. They said it had a metallic clip, but this seems to me to be a plastic clip. The whole body is made out of uh, plastic and it's white. At the end, we have this interesting curved ending and they've chosen a gray color. I'm not so sure why, because this is a red or an orange color and I guess they match the two colors. This is a new, quite a neutral color. It unscrews the cap or maybe not. Let me see. Let me pull. Yes, it is a pressure fit cap. By the way, guys, the cap has some information here. It is a sticker so you can remove it. So www.schneiderpen.com, a reference number 169013, made in Germany and the code bar. It is quite, quite a nice design because it's cylindrical here, but here it uh, ends, it has these cuts and it's like a tear drop, quite, quite nice. Let me see the clip, well the clip is quite functional and flexible, but it with the uh, break in time, uh, they certainly thought of this detail. And if you watch closely, it is reinforced with another line, quite thick line located just in the middle of it. Quite interesting feature. Now, let me review reveal the beautiful beautiful nib it is a steel nib and at this price point i'm surprised it is uh, ornated or engraved with uh, those lines quite quite nice it doesn't appear to have a uh, iridium point it just has the same steel ending so Somebody in the comments asked me how long do I think this will stand in time? And I said, I replied to that person that I don't know for sure because I definitely didn't use one for a large, large period of time. But in my point of view, should uh, it should last uh, two, third, fourth, uh, four or five years in my opinion. So enough time to write with it and uh, if you lose uh, that tip, if that tip uh, consumes itself in time with the touch of the paper, you could always buy a replacement nib or at this price you can buy the whole fountain pen. Let me show you the back. Well, the back, it contains this interesting, interesting feed, definitely a plastic feed. What is interesting about this model is that we have a grip section that matches the clip of the cap. Quite, quite nice. And another detail, it is not made of this shiny plastic material, but rather a rubbery material. And if we zoom on it, we can see that we don't have a cylindrical, perfect cylindrical shape. It has those special, special places when, uh, where you can rest or you can grab with your fingers. Quite, quite easy, the fountain pen. This is nice, guys. Of course, the barrel and screws. And it reveals a fake ink cartridge. It is a fake ink cartridge because we don't have a bottom. So definitely we can't fill it with ink. And another trait, it doesn't have that inner 
plastic ball, which I will show you in a few moments. Inside of it, we have included one in cartilage, and I will show you. Yes. And nothing else. I was just checking it out. It doesn't appear to have breathing holes. So maybe you can also use it as a big giant reservoir of ink, but I'm not so sure of this fact yet. If we look closely at this ink cartilage, we can see thermically imprinted Schneider on it, again the logo, and this would have also a ball, a plastic ball inside of it, but it is not visible right now. So, we push it like this, till we hear a click sound. Yes, now it's securely fit. Definitely a large body like this body could hold also a big ink cartridge. And I thought I had one lying around here. Let me see. Well, I have one, but I won't be using it, so it's just yes it definitely can hold it right there i think it is compatible now guys you know that with this type of ink cartridges i have to wait before i will do the the writing sample i will make the writing sample but still i um, do the writing sample let me see if i have here another fountain pen to compare it with yes and i think i have here a quite famous fountain pen yes i have here the lamy 2000 i will leave the lamy 2000 right here i will uh, put back the barrel on our fountain pen and i will put back the cap and guys, you can see that we don't have a small fountain pen. It is roughly in the same length as the famous Lamy 2000. In one place, it seems quite, quite big. And I have to tell you, it is a cartridge filler versus a Lamy 2000, which has an integrated piston. By the way, guys, I think you should uh, definitely adapt uh, ink converter also on the Schneider model. It is compatible with international size ink cartridges and I think that no problem. It should hold also an international ink converter. So guys, I will leave the dimensions of the Schneider COD basic fountain pen on the screen and after that I will do the writing sample. So before I will do the writing sample let me change the angle of the camera guys. And I have here the paper. I'm opening it. Let me see if it writes. So, with a little bit of zoom and a little bit of focus. Let me see. Schneider. And I always look at this COD basic fountain pen it is made in germany made in germany okay <clears throat> it has this interesting nib judging by the way it writes we have an m m for medium nib i was checking out the pack to see if we have the dimensions of the knee of the nib mentioned on it no so unfortunately i don't know i'm just guessing we have a medium nib medium nib a steel nib 
I still need just by, by the way it writes, guys. Let me see if we have some flex to it. Unfortunately, no flex. Let me see if we have some line variation here. No pressure. And here, no pressure. I will say we have a little line variance. Okay, let me see how juicy this nib is. Not such a juicy nib, but it does its job. Let me see how I can use it for a signature. Quite nice. And let me see if it's possible the reverse writing. So reverse writing. Definitely yarn. Yes. And it doesn't have inflow problems. It writes quite, quite smooth. Now let me tell you guys about the quick brown fox. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. So this was it guys. This is my review of uh, affordable school fountain pen. I hope that this fountain pen is available also in your country and I hope you can find a great great deal when you buy uh, them. So thank you for your time guys. Let me see if we can post this fountain pen. Yes it can be easily posted so they thought about every single little detail. Again, I want to thank you for your time. Please stay safe, guys, in this pandemic. Try to stay as long as you can inside uh, your homes. Try to occupy your time by using your collection of fountain pens. But in general, be productive and don't let the disease catch up with you. You must be strong. And fortunate enough, you have a wonderful, wonderful hobby. I want to thank you for your time. Have a nice day, wherever you are, guys. This was my review of the Schneider sealed basic fountain pen, a quite uh, nice fountain pen, bought at a more than a reasonable price, new from my local supermarket. Thank you again for your time. Have a nice day and bye bye.